so far going good feeling optimistic feeling um feeling half feeling glass glass and On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like chicken rice? 10. Oi. Nas ayam penyek kau. Uh like normal chicken rice. Normal chicken rice. Uh. Okay, I think not bad. Quite high. 7.5 I think. For me it's a uh, 7 I think. Chicken 8. But if you eat too much, I get jolat. Yeah, I don't like it. After that. So, how often do you get chicken rice? I don't usually eat anything else. I eat chicken rice maybe 3 out of 7 days. Or 4 days. 4 out of 7 days. I don't know. <laughs> because wow. diet is just chicken rice. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it, is. it really is. Eh. Oh, but once, once or twice every 2 weeks. Yeah, but... I would say maybe once a month. Like, I, I quite like chicken rice. But then the thing is that like, if I go to the hawker centre to buy lunch, there's so many other things that I would rather eat. Uh, same, same as Gerald, like, uh, like once a month. Don't really eat much. I think it's a bit oily, but it's a simple treat law every now and then. What is your go-to chicken rice order? So what do you usually order when you go, when you head down to the store? Boneless roasted chicken rice. Yeah, that's okay. all. <laughs> the, way she, the way she spoke, like, yeah. there was like part B and part C of the order. Like, <laughs> boneless roasted chicken rice. <laughs> then, then uh, contrary to what other people like, I also like roasted chicken rice. Eh. Yeah, but I feel a lot of people who like say chicken rice is very good and one, eh, they usually opt for the Hainanese or like the steam one. Yeah, but personally, I prefer the roasted chicken rice. I prefer the steam chicken skin compared to the roasted one. Chinese. All of us are throwing <laughs> gang, gang signs. <laughs> I get pink. Orange. Green. Well, because left, left is blue. blue. <laughs> okay, cool. Blue would be no toppings throughout the challenge, so it has to be plain chicken rice. Oh, okay, la, not too bad. La. But then it's like boring. Hello, not too bad. Orange will be um egg. <laughs> so no we got green. Me. So yours will be gizzard and Tika will be anything that you want. Wow, yeah. she's so lucky lah. <laughs> then, I'll do give her the, <laughs> the gizzard. gizzard. <laughs> Looks like first meal of the day and I already failed the challenge. <laughs> Uh, my parents were planning to come over for lunch, right? But when I told them in the morning that I needed to eat chicken rice, my mom had already started cooking. So if they start cooking already, you know, I cannot say I don't eat their food and then I go buy my own food. Huh? I would feel too bad, right? So I just went ahead and ate whatever my mom cooked. La. I just went ahead and ate whatever my mom cooked. La. Welcome to Tika's um, steamed chicken rice debut. The big moment here, eh? I feel like it tastes like, like chicken la. Try second portion. Maybe this time we got the cheese. No difference la. <laughs> I'm just going to give this chicken rice um, a solid 6.5 for my first ever meal uh, of the challenge. Uh, not bad, not bad. So far going good, feeling optimistic, feeling, um, feeling half, feeling glass, glass and the glass is half full of optimistic. That, that took a while, oh my god. We chance upon this particular chicken rice store that's a bit special. But they have this like special fried rice eh? Chicken fried rice. Producer never specified. So, it looks like chicken rice. It has white tea, no toppings. I think I'm good. Okay, the chicken rice chow fun is here. Look at that. No lazy Susan, so I do myself. So this is our whole meal. Very nice, very nice. There are some bones to the chicken. So maybe people like Tika who would opt for boneless might not enjoy this as much. But the meat is so tender and the chicken is so nicely glazed. Okay, so it's the first meal of the challenge and uh, as you can see, I ordered chicken rice and this one looks very different because I ordered it from, uh, what do you call it? Traditional looking Malay stall and the chicken rice even though I don't know whether it's roasted or fried, looks a bit like it's fried. It just tastes like um fried chicken. 
instead of like the normal roasted chicken rice. To be honest, it tastes more sinful, definitely. <laughs> but in terms of the flavor, wow, it's really much nicer. <laughs> it's mostly because it's fried and also like I can taste the uh, different spices and um, seasoning that they put into this uh, piece of chicken. Like not only the skin or the, or the little bits of crunch, but the chicken itself, uh, the chicken meat itself, is very flavorful as well. Mm, very nice. Just had a shoot at office and uh, heading back now. So I'm going to pick up some chicken rice for dinner on the way home. Okay, so I finally managed to get uh, chicken rice. But I think every time when I buy too late, right, I think it's going to be hard for me to buy the can, you know. Even if you go during lunch, and you're a bit late, right? Like, the gain every time sell out, man. It's so popular. Okay, the chicken rice, I'm gonna rate it. I think the chili is not bad, it's quite solid. Uh, I think a 7 out of 10 for me. The chicken, I don't know if there's a better roast, roasted chicken. I didn't really like it. Uh, 5 out of 10 for me. But the rice, 9 out of 10. The rice is good. Like, I've tried to find a freaking chicken rice store. And I really cute. Fine. Oh my So I know at this point You all think that This is the end It's the first day And she's already gonna lose You all thought wrong Because you know why? Because I'm gonna use my chance I'm gonna use my call uh, Call my brother Cut My brother is back with the chicken rice So this is the chicken rice And Oh my god, I'm kind of annoyed right now. I freak I swear. It's roasted chicken rice. Oh my god, is this considered cheating? Flashback. Can you help me buy chicken rice? Okay, but you must buy steam one, you know. Steam you know. Wait, you know what is steam not? And a flashback. Oh, I really wish I got roasted, yeah. Then I don't have to go through all this ordeal, you know. But not bad. But really nice. Tada! This is my meal, and in total, it actually cost me three fifty. So the egg is uh, seventy cents, two eighty, seventy cents become three fifty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I think really is worth the price increase because not only is the rice more flavorful, but the chicken, oh my god, is also much more tender than I remember it. Okay, so this is the chicken rice. Ah, another another slow mo shot. Eh? Ah, so the place is from Hawker Centre. Hawker Centre is called Hawker Centre, eh? And the chicken rice store is called Chicken Rice. We love, we love simplicity. Uh, it's lunch now. I did not film breakfast because I was so busy with work, so I didn't have time to go down and buy uh chicken rice. As requested from eBook. Uh, I had to order a pie tea, which thankfully is to my favor. And this one cost three thirty, very affordably priced. Okay, and I also requested for one five packets of chili. Ah, yeah. I actually wanted to request for more, but a bit pricey. This is the fourth packet of chili. The chicken is not too dry. Um, it's not the best chicken. But it's something that I can easily get downstairs, so I'm not gonna complain. And for the price point, very worth it. Uh, very worth. Tada! This is my lunch for today, and no prizes for guessing, but it is chicken rice. And I'm currently at a Canberra food court. Chicken is soft. I love love the sauces, but the chili though. Uh, Anyway, I think in terms of a very good sale of chicken rice, uh, things you have to take note of will be the chili and the rice. Uh. The chili here is very nice, spicy. I like the spicy kick uh, when I'm eating a plate of chicken rice. Okay, thank you. Uh, finish up my meal and having a good time so far. Not too bad. Uh. It's only been three meals. So maybe after tonight, after my dinner, I might feel a bit sick and the chicken rice. Who knows? Bye-bye. Alright, it's day two and I realized that there's no chicken rice stall near my house. Leh. I needed to walk quite far to find a roasted meat stall. So it's not even a chicken rice stall. And because of that, right, I think that's why they don't have any uh, gain actually. So like, I could only get the roasted chicken rice. Another meal that I cheated, I guess. Actually, this roasted meat stall place, they do the chicken quite nice. Leh. Like the skin is brown quite nicely. Uh, as you can see. So like, it's quite good, I would say above average. I think for both the chicken and the chili, I would give 7 out of 10. 
Not bad. Uh, I asked my team to buy chicken rice, but actually they don't know why. What's the reason why we order? But anyway, they didn't ons one. Oh! Oh, it's not like, I don't know, like chicken rice party vibes or something ah. So today we bought it from my kampong Not your kampong, it's my kampong Stop it, get some help Chicken 7, rice 5, chili um, 4 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 16 out of 30, congratulations my kampung oh my god it is chicken rice again why why yeah i can oh but if we are losing her she's dying we don't know why she's lost the will to live i love chicken rice but too much of it mm. It's nice ah. Uh. It tastes like I'm eating the same thing for the past three, three, two days. I thought it was the third day already. For dinner, I bought one of my more preferred chicken rice. It's uh, the 925 Yishun. But again ah, uh, I used, I bought it from Grab eh, about like maybe 5 o'clock. But I, they don't have again again eh. So once again, I have failed to do the challenge like two days in a row. Mmm. Oh, the chili is very nice. Oh, <clears throat> oh. <laughs> I see. But the rice though, I feel it's less flavorful and just more a bit salty. The rice 7 out of 10. Chicken 7 out of 10. Can pass. The chili 9 out of 10. I didn't think this day would come uh, where I would dread to eat chicken rice. I think eating it like 3 times a day is a bit much. Uh. Also right, I couldn't find anything to like add on to the chicken rice. Okay, I know that um, like most of the chicken rice will come with this lah, which is like a cucumber. So just take it as if I purposefully ask the stall owner to add on this cucumber. I'm having a very late breakfast with my mom here at Hainan Second Street. Chicken rice is here as usual, two pieces. Cucumber, thumb, a bit little chili. Maybe I'll ask for more. It's expensive. Actually, this rice has specks of black pepper. So there's something new. I think the spiciness not just comes from the chili, it comes from the rice itself. That's quite cool. It's a first. Um, for today, the chicken rice, right? I'm supposed to add anything that I want, right? I got the freedom to add anything I want. So, of course, being the genius that I am, right? I added chicken and I added rice. Why, you must be asking. Because um, I don't have time to go out for lunch later. So I thought that if I bought additional chicken and additional rice, I can like preserve it and eat it for lunch. So this is what, this is the portion that I'm having right now. Very big, yeah. Um, and this will be the other portion that I'll be having for lunch. We are at Go Am Pratnam Chairs with our least favorite uh, colleague. <laughs> so uh, it's a Michelin big command place, right? So I'm for uh, Shibu Gula. We had this before at Pratnam Chairs. Oh, yeah. uh, but I think the Michelin big Roman is for the uh, Hainanese chicken rice. Mm -hmm. Is it right? Hainanese? Mm -hmm. The Thai Hainanese chicken rice. Oh, it's I thought Hainanese means must be steamed. No. Oh, I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm eating roast chicken rice, but I got the Thai this time. Because uh, I'm feeling rich. Uh, I've been eating just like the $3 chicken rice. <laughs> 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 uh, and then uh, I finally managed to get the, the Kian. Wow, it took so long. Uh, yeah. Every time I'm like, it's called Kian. Kian. Oh, first time I hear it. Kian. I think it's a Hokkien word or something like that. I'm not too sure. Uh, so my, uh, if I remember correctly, my meal uh, is uh, roasted chicken rice egg. I never say braised egg or anything. <laughs> so I mean, you don't have braised egg here, ma. Oh. oh, you see this guy? See this guy? Number one bullshit guy. Okay, so before that, uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Ebook Taste Testers. And here we are. I'm Gerald. And this is Abhis. <laughs> and this is Gerald. Today, we're going to taste test some Thai style chicken rice. <laughs> what we want to do is, I am just going to dip the chicken in the dark chili and give it a taste test. Wow, so close. <laughs> I see. But it's like also quite sour. 
It's not like sweet and spicy, it's more towards sour and spicy. We want to eat it with chicken? Yeah. I don't know what they sing already. I don't think I should have mixed it together. Okay, the rice I think is a bit more like chicken spooky like compared to the others. But it's not as fragrant. But I think I still think it's not bad. I would give it like 7 out of 10. But the chicken like 9 out of 10 for me. I actually think the chili is not that great on its own. So the chili maybe 5 out of 10. But if everything together, I think the taste is so unique that I would give it a 10 out of 10. Time for lunch now. I'm eating from the same place. But of course, um, bringing back the half eaten chicken rice with the now. I'm not feeling the steamed chicken rice right now. Actually, I'm not even feeling chicken rice right now. No, I will not let the book um, change my love for chicken rice. Mmm, mmm. Oh. Actually, really, uh, I don't want to eat this anymore. <laughs> How? Uh? I just want this recipe uh, that you can use rice cooker to cook. I'm like, oh, easy, efficient, tell me in. So, I'm gonna try. Okay, I'm going to start by twisting the spring onions Then I'll put in the chicken Some salt, pepper, corn flour Okay, then 2 tablespoons of hua tiao jiu Sesame oil That mix well and Then let it sit for 1 hour Some sesame oil them so the spring ah, yo, my <laughs> gonna add the rice ah, yo, moment of truth wow looks great took this very small plate bowl because I'm not hungry I really wanna try alright here it goes wow it's a very simple tasting rice which I really appreciate at this point of time because I've been eating something I've been eating things that are so heavy I kind of crave for something that tastes slightly lighter The chicken is very nicely cooked also I'm very surprised that this is actually a very easy thing to do because all you need to do is really prepare the ingredients then you, uh, you chop the onions and a little bit of the chicken to make it a smaller piece and then you dump everything inside Right, just finished uh, work I decided to treat myself to uh, buntong ki. There's a buntong ki near our office, so like decided to try buying that lah. And they don't sell uh, roasted chicken like by itself. Like, they only sell by like half chicken. So look at the amount of food I have. Look at this, so much. Wow, the roasted chicken smells really good. And like they give this, I think plum sugar or something, with the, I'm guessing it's for the kian. Wow. The roasted chicken is damn good. The the char the, the skin is really nice. It's still crispy eh. You know what tap out and it's like in a container and like you know the condensation is making itself like soggy. But it's still crispy. I thought I would be quite sick of chicken rice for three days. I think like it's just not gelat enough to be sian of it, even though I eat like three days in a row. So actually not very challenging eh. It's finally the last chicken rice meal of the challenge. Oh my god, I am so ready. Okay. Um, today I'm actually eating chicken rice from EFF from Bedok Corner. It's actually boneless. And I love bone. Eh. Is this steam? Technically, right, it's all white. So I'm just gonna assume that this is steam. And eh, you cannot see any signs of skin, but let's all just close one eye and pretend that this is steam, eh? Oh, you see this guy? See this guy? Number one bullshit guy. You know, there's a saying um, that I think Malay people like to say when, some, when like a food is very nice, right? We like to say this food them steams, yeah? Hi guys, it's finally the last day. I have to head out for another meeting, so I'm gonna just quickly make myself some chicken rice balls. Ta da! Ball. It looks like a sarung pao. Alright, done with the rice balls. Look at that goodness. Wow. I've decided to challenge myself and make the rice ball into like a sushi. So sushi, you have rice and then you have the sashimi on top, right? I'm going to do the rice ball and the chicken on top. Oh 
Ah. As you can see, it's the rice. Oh, I, I wish you all could smell this because it smells so fragrant. And then there's also the chicken. I've already put the dark sauce on top of it. it comes with the chili and also soup. And of course, I ordered a side of braised egg. Oh, it smells so good. And I've been inspired by Gerald, so I am going to what do you call it? Rate, rate the different components individually. So let's start with the rice. Oh, it's so good! Man. You can really taste the flavor as compared to the rice I had for lunch. Yeah, this is definitely much much more flavorful. And if I could rate this, I'll say it's a good 8.59. 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for the chili, I'm gonna go for it. Bad idea to have try it by itself. But I could really taste the spiciness hit the back of my throat, man. I think I give the sambal a 10 out of 10. Yeah, the soup has a nice flavor to it as well. I think it's slightly more peppery. The last but not least, before I start eating properly, is my little chicken to a little chunk. I'm so glad I, I saved this uh, chicken rice of chicken rice as the last meal of my challenge because I really really am ending off with a bang so good man quite easy but sien I guess <laughs> in terms of like, finding chicken rice it's very easy because like it's almost everywhere right and the taste wise is nice also oh my god it was so hard for me to find steamed chicken rice why is it so hard oh. it's just roasted ah. yeah man roasted no wonder I but thought every place got no. both man. later in the night right in the evening got roasted only then one was the Ah, oh, makes sense. Oh. So, did you cheat? Huh? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I found it okay, like, because I don't think chicken rice is a very jelak meal. Like, for example, if it was like 72 hours chakwetel, I think then it would be like way too. Like, just the same taste over and over again, like, I feel like that would be too much. But chicken rice, I feel like it's not too heavy on your palate. Like. <laughs> well, I, because I had no toppings, so it's like copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. And, and somehow you don't really eat chicken rice, right? Yeah, no, because he said it's, it's light on the palate or something mm. like that. <laughs> it's so heavy on my palate, eh! I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going No, thank you. No, Maybe not so today, well. but tomorrow almost, I think, can. I cheated quite a few times. For my first day lunch, my parents came over to like find me for lunch. Right? When I tell them that I want the chicken rice, then they, my mom said she cooked really. So like, oh, I cannot say no to my mom. Say no, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I also, because I couldn't find the steamed chicken rice, I swear, I really tried very hard. I went to multiple places. Wow. And then Google also lied to me. Huh. They say this place got chicken rice store, don't have. So is it my fault? No, Google. Forfeit Google. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. What the? Why this one got no neck skin? It's so Malay. Eh? <laughs> How to start? I I am never in the kitchen. Okay, Gerald. Gerald is confident. Do you have a owner? Yeah, do you guys have a owner? Owner? Oh, no. Oh, this one. Oh, the eyeball is staring at me. I don't know if it's the eyeball or not. Three days later. Okay. Hey. Oh. 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 Oh.